Click, 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 clickety clack, click bait. You love it or you hate it. Clickbait. Hey YouTubers, how y'all doing out there? My name is Malik, and yes, I'm back with more YouTube love because I'm back on your screen with another tip for the tube. One of our YouTube subscribers, Take Inventory, asked us, what is clickbait and is it recommended? So I guess it's time for us to answer that age old question, what is clickbait? Clickbait is the use of misleading titles and thumbnails to make you think that the video will deliver something that it won't. It basically is intended to get your attention and get you to click on a video and watch it. So that answers what clickbait is. Now I guess I need to tell you whether it's recommended or not, but I guess the best way to address that would be whether or not clickbait works. And to answer that question, I guess it really depends. So if you're trying to get views, clickbait works. If all you want is views all day, every day, and you want people clicking on your video and you want those view counts to go up, clickbait will definitely work. Throw the boobies on the screen, you know, say that it's going to deliver the best this or that, whatever in the world. And yes, clickbait will work for you. It'll get you views. They will start stacking up like crazy. Now, when it comes to engagement, once again, yes, clickbait works. Because engagement is just whether someone liked or disliked the video. It doesn't even matter which one they select. If they select like or dislike, it has the same value as far as engagement goes. So if you want engagement, because guess what? A lot of people are going to be giving you the thumbs down when they think that you're delivering something and you're not delivering it when they start to watch the video. So you will get a lot of thumbs down. Don't take it personally. Thumbs down is just a... a indicator of engagement. You got somebody engaged enough to make them want to click a thumb up or thumb down. So it doesn't matter which one they click. If you want views and if you want engagement, clickbait works. Hallelujah. Clickbait works. Now, if you're looking to increase your watch time, clickbait does not work. Okay. Because people are going to figure out by uh, the comments or by how many thumbs down you got that, hey, I clicked on this to watch this. It's not giving me what I said I was going to watch. So I'm clicking away from it. I'm leaving this page. So your watch time will continue to go down. All right. They don't even really need to see the comments or see the thumbs down. All they really need to see is that you're not delivering what you said you would deliver in the title and in the thumbnail. And once that's recognized by the viewer, they're going to click away, which means that your watch time will go down. So if you're looking to increase your subscribers and I guess your reputation and your brand you want to build on those, then clickbait is a no-go. It's a no-no. So when people start to look at your videos and they don't deliver what you say they're going to deliver, do you think they're going to subscribe to your channel? Hells to the no. They're not going to subscribe if you're not bringing them what you said you're going to bring them. So you may get a bunch of views, you may get a bunch of engagement, but your subscribers will be low. Okay, you're not going to get a lot of subscribers. I've seen videos out there, channels out there with millions of views on a video and no subscribers. Okay, because these individuals are using clickbait and people are not subscribing to their channel. Also, that's brand damaging. Your reputation is going to be poo-pooed, for lack of a better term, if you're just using clickbait and you're not delivering on what your title and your thumbnail says your video will be. So you're going to damage your reputation and your brand. So if you don't want to damage your reputation and your brand and you want your subscribers to go up, don't use clickbait. So really, does clickbait work? Is it recommended? Well, take inventory it's based on what you're trying to do, what your goals are, right? If your goal is to build a sustainable channel that people continue to return to on a regular basis and subscribe to and YouTube pushes your uh, or YouTube pushes your videos out to people to view, then I would say clickbait is not a good thing. All right. 
Uh, otherwise, if you're just looking for views and you're looking for engagement, then I say clickbait is fantastic. So that should pretty much answer your question, Take Inventory. Thanks for that. If you're also a subscriber to Tips for the Tube and you want me to do a tutorial or you have a question, leave that in the comments below and I will try to make a tutorial on it based on if you're a subscriber and what that tutorial request actually is. If it has value and I think a lot of people will be interested in it, you might see your name and your tutorial request on this channel. Also, tell me about the craziest clickbait you ever saw. What was the thumbnail? What was the title? And then what did the video actually show you once you clicked on it? That's got to be real interesting. Leave that stuff in the comments section below as well. All right, YouTubers, I want to thank you for watching this video all the way through to the end. It truly means the world to me. Now, if you like the content in this video, make sure that you click on the thumb, the one that's pointed in the upward direction. All right, got any comments, questions, tutorial requests? As always, leave those in the comment section below. And last but not least, smash the subscribe button. When you smash the subscribe button, you receive notifications whenever I upload content, and that way you don't miss out on any other learning and all of the fun. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.